Uh, yeah, I thought it was a um, hard-fought game on both teams' parts. I mean, everybody's scratching and clawing for position right now in the Big 12, and um, West Virginia is typically a very physical team. We knew that, and I thought we handled it better than we did in Morgantown. And um, I'm just really proud of our team as far as reacting and, and responding to – a really disappointing and tough loss, but then, you know, talking about what we needed to do to get back to playing uh, a better, a better, more competitive basketball, and I, I thought we did that tonight. Uh, if I go back and look at the film, it'll surprise me if I see too many possessions where we didn't play hard, and that's we needed to get moving in that direction again, uh, helping each other, being more of a team, in particular defensively. Uh, I just thought that everybody contributed in that manner tonight, and um, that just kind of has to be our identity from this point forward. Questions? Coach, uh, it seems like you got, well, you got Stephanie off to a really good start. Um, you know, what did you notice? What did you see that you particularly liked about the way you started? Well, I thought we had energy. Uh, I thought we really had a purpose as we started, in particular defensively. And so when we got stops, I think it gave our team confidence because we knew that was something that we needed to do better than we'd done in the last two games. I thought we shared the ball really well. Um, and then I thought we went through a little bit of a um, kind of a drought where we just didn't make the right decisions in transition. We were getting stops still, but we went through a little span of time that kind of bogged us down a little bit. But um, – that's how we need to start games as far as our level of intensity. And then I thought the bench was really good tonight. Coach, you guys had um, multiple points tonight where you have slow offensive play, but then you guys followed up on the defensive end with strong fold. How do you personally emphasize uh, the stuff that doesn't show up on the stat sheet to your players? I'll let them answer that because some of them do that. Tonight was probably these two had a hand in doing things that don't show up on the stat sheet. So y'all go ahead. Um, I think it really does start in practice, and we don't re we really try not to focus on the bad shot. That if we took a bad shot or if we turn the ball over, we want to get back on defense like as fast as we can and get the ball stopped so we can go score. So I mean, it's just a mentality to know that you you have to go to the next play. Yeah. I would say also to add on to that, it's like the intangible stuff that, like how you said, doesn't st show on the stat sheet, uh, just hustling. Audrey does a great job of that coming off, and she gives us a lot of energy. So just stuff like that really helps our team. Joe, just anybody just brings energy. It's just great for us. Charlie, what do you think y'all did tonight that was different from playing West Virginia and Morgantown and was able to give you guys the win tonight? I feel like... Um, we, were, we matched their physicality this game, and at times we were more physical than them. And it came down to the point of where who's going to be more physical, and we got the job done on that end. And so that really helped us a lot. Charlie, uh, you guys had a lot of good opportunities inside. Um, why do you think that was? Um, I feel like we got great position in the paint, but also our guards fed us the ball well. So. Um, it just frees up everything when you can get the ball inside because that can mean cuts are open or they're open on the wing. So just getting the ball inside for us is a major um, advantage for us. How much do you think over the course of a long season now, kind of you know, built up that trust with your teammates and, and showed also to you know, be able to feed you some of those lob passes down low in traffic? Um, I just feel like it starts – it starts in practice, like Audrey said, uh, just practicing on things like that. And um, eventually, teams are going to notice that. And so we, we got to get the guards to shoot. So it's just um, maintaining a great practice and um, just doing what we do in practice and you know, resembling it in the games. Charlie, coming down the stretch of this season, how big was this win tonight, especially after the uh, past two couple losses to get back on track? Yeah. The the past couple of losses were really <laughs> sad, really bad. So this win definitely got our confidence up, and uh, we can make another run for it and uh, just get back in practice and focus on the next game. Uh, how are you able to respond to West Virginia's comeback in the fourth quarter? <laughs> um, I think that um, for a minute there, we kind of hesitated. But 
we realized like if we just play our game, do what we did in the first half, um, do what we practiced, I mean, we knew we would come out victorious. <laughs> Well, I think part of it is just the nature of the, of the Big 12. Um, I mean, most teams are not just going to let you continue to do something without making adjustments. And I thought that they made some second quarter adjustments that then we have to recognize what's what might be open after they adjust. And I thought they adjusted to uh, our penetration and um, changed a little bit about how they were handling that. And we got in too big of a hurry. Thought we did a better job in the second half of, of um, first of all, establishing an inside game. But again, it's Big 12 play. I mean, I, we made some adjustments too. I mean, as good as Nob Black was tonight, she had four offensive rebounds in the first quarter, practically, and she ended up with four. So we made some adjustments that we need, needed to also. And I mean, just like it was um, at West Virginia, kind of got down to the last three or four minutes. And I thought we, we buckled down tonight and did the things that we had to do. Coach, in light of the last two games, the way not, not only losing, but the way you, you guys looked in those losses, <laughs> uh, any anxiety on your part coming into this one, wondering if this was, if this team was going to be able to, you know, to put those behind them and get off to this, the kind of start they did tonight? Um, I mean, sometimes my, if I have anxiety about how we're going to perform it, it is n normally based on what we do in practice and what we look like and kind of what our demeanor is in practice and preparation. And I mean, for a quick turnaround, and this is the fourth game in eight days for these young ladies. Um, I thought it yesterday was probably, yesterday and today was our better prep. And that just shows you that it's more mental probably than it is physical right now. Are you locked in? Are you really, are you paying attention to the game plan? Are you serious about what you're doing? while you're getting ready to play, are you getting yourself ready the day of the game? All of that stuff really matters. And um, I mean, I wish I had an answer for the way that we performed, not necessarily losing, because that, I mean, I think it's disrespectful to everybody in our league to, to not give them credit when they play well. But the way we played, it just wasn't us. And I just thought we looked, I mean, it was still ugly sometimes tonight, but it was still us. And that's – I enjoy coaching that. I enjoy watching them get ready yesterday and reset their batteries. I mean, that's what you want from – I mean, as a coach, you're just asking them to try to do, get ready and compete. Um, and, I mean, today we competed and the ball didn't go in any more than it did at Kansas. I mean, we're missing some really easy shots that we've been making. But the difference tonight was that – we were able to go to the next thing and just keep competing, and we just didn't do that up there. So we'll learn from this. Charles, what were your thoughts on the start tonight that you guys got off to? That real fast, you know, 11 2, 13 2, something like that. Did that, that put any concerns that you might have had at, at ease knowing that, okay, we, we flushed those last two games and we're, we're, we're good to go? Yeah, I feel like our preparation definitely prepared us for our start of this game. Um, we tend to start off slow, so if we can continue to keep starting off how we did tonight, I feel like we can compete with a lot of teams and come out with the win. We came out with a lot of energy, like you said, and um, it was a good outcome for us. Talking about the rest group you guys have coming up, because obviously you mentioned the four games in eight days, how much coach do you think that, you know, that is a resource now that you can harness and, and I think we can get back to to a few things that we haven't been able to do in these eight days, which is, you know, for example, tomorrow we'll spend some time shooting the basketball um, and not prepping for that next game. Um, and, I mean, Wednesday will be a day of rest, and then we'll get ready for Kansas State. It's Texas weekend. It's a big weekend for us. Um, means a lot to us to have them come and watch us play. So, I, I mean, we're, we should get excited about this weekend. But again, it gives us a time to sort of focus on ourselves for a day or two before we start to prep for K-State. What are your thoughts on us being able to honor some of the cancer survivors tonight? Huh. Um, 
Well, it's it's our third game in a row that represents breast cancer or cancer awareness in general, and um, and for me personally, and I know for these two, um, it, it's just I think before my mom went through the cancer um, and before she passed last year, I did not understand research. I didn't understand the fight that people go through um, when they're trying to survive cancer. And what I understand about this game now is that it's, it benefits research. And without research, how are we going to find a cure? And it is a horrific disease that I hope and pray we find a cure for. So, I mean, that's for these guys to come out here and cheer us on um, and for people to come and help us represent this game in the manner that we should is really, really important um, to us. I know that. And I just hope that we'll continue to do this because it, it's, I mean, the research is all you have right now. You're, you know, we're fighting, trying to find a cure. And I mean, those women we ran through the tunnel, I mean, those guys are, they're fighting every day. And it's the least we can do is show up and play hard when they come here.